Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to install or download Candy Crush Saga game on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 computer. Now the first step is to sign out and sign in again from Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on the top here. You can see a profile icon. Click on it. Then click on sign out and then again click on sign in. And over here, select your account, then click on continue and then enter your PIN or password over here. And once you enter your PIN or password, you can go ahead and try to go ahead and download the game once again. So enter your PIN or password, then click on sign in. And once you're logged in, you can go ahead and try to install the game once again. Now, still you're facing the problem, then make sure date and time is correct on your computer. On the bottom right here, you can see the date and time. Make a right click on date and time. Then click on adjust date and time. And then over here, you can see set time automatically. Make sure this is on. In Windows 10, you will also have set time zone automatically. You can go ahead and turn it on. In Windows 11, you can go ahead and select the right time zone from here, from the list. Now, still you are facing the problem. And if the time is not right, date is not right over here, click on additional clock and then go to date and time and then click on change date and time. From here, you can go ahead and select the date and you can change the date, uh, the month and the year from here. So select the month and year and then select the right date. And you can also change the time from here, then click on OK. And after that, you can click on apply. OK, and then try to download the game. Now you can also change the time zone from here. So click on uh, change time zone and you can select the right time zone and then try to download the game. Now still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and try to install the games from library. So open Microsoft Store and over here you can see the library option. Click on it. Now over here you will see Candy Crush Saga game. So over here you will see the install option. In my case, it's still downloading. It's in pause state right now. So over here, you will, you will see the install option. Try to install it from here. Now, still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run Windows Store Troubleshooter for this open Windows uh, Windows 10 or 11 settings. So click on Start Menu, then click on Settings. Or you can make a right click on the Start Menu and then click on Settings to open Windows 10 or 11 settings. And then in Windows 10, you will find the troubleshooter, all the troubleshooter in Windows Update tab. So click on Windows Update if you have Windows 10. So click on Windows Update, then you will see the troubleshooter option. In case of Windows 11, go to System and then click on Troubleshoot and then click on Other Troubleshooters. Now scroll down over here, you can see Windows Store Apps and then click on Run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer and then try to download the game once again. The next step is to clear store cache using WS Reset command. For this, you go ahead and type in WS Reset in Windows search box and then click on WS Reset. Make a right click on the WS Reset or you simply go ahead and click on WS Reset and then you will see this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. So it may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute for this black screen to go away and then it will open Microsoft Store. Now over here, you can see the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. And once you have Microsoft Store open, you can go ahead and find the game and then try to download or install the game once again. Now still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and update your Windows 11 or 10. So for this, go to the Start menu, then click on Settings. Go to Windows Update and then click on Check for Update. In my case, one update is already there. So click on Check for Update, then install it. And after the installation, restart your computer and then try to download the game. The next step is to reset store app. For this, go to the start menu, open Windows settings, and then go to apps and then click on apps and feature. Scroll down or you can go ahead and simply go ahead in the search box. You can go ahead and type in store and then click on this three dot. In Windows 10, you simply have to click over here. And in case of Windows 11, click on this three dot, then click on advanced options and scroll down over here. You can see the reset option. Click on reset, reset. And after the reset, you can go ahead and try to download the game once again. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and restart these services. For this, go ahead and type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. And find Windows Update first. So scroll down here. You can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on Apply. 
Now, if start is highlighted, click on start and then click on OK. With this selected, click on restart the service. Now, find Microsoft Store install service. So, here you can see Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click over here. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Then click on apply. If start is highlighted, click on start, then click on OK. And with this selected, click on restart the service. Now, find background intelligent transfer service. Here you can see background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click. Make sure startup type is set to automatic. Apply. If start is highlighted, click on start. And then click on OK. And with this selected over here, click on restart the service. And then you can go ahead and try to use Microsoft Store. The next step is to run PowerShell command to re-register your Microsoft Store. For this, you can copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. So type in PowerShell in Windows search box. And then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then paste the command over here. Sorry. Copy the command from the video description. And then paste it over here. And then hit the enter key. This will go ahead and re-register re the Microsoft Store and then you can go ahead and try to download the game. The next step is to uninstall and reinstall Microsoft Store. For this, copy this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Make a right click on the Start menu and you can open Windows Terminal Admin in case if you have Windows 11. And then you can click on Yes to allow. And then from here, you can go ahead and click on in this drop down and then click on Windows Power Cell. And then you can paste the command over here. In case if you have Windows 10, you can simply go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow and paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from, from your computer. So next time when you type in store, you, won't, you, will, you won't find Microsoft Store over here. Now after this, you, you go ahead and restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can go ahead and copy this command. This will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So after the system restart, again, open PowerShell. So go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on run, run as administrator. Then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here and then hit the enter key. And this will go ahead and reinstall Microsoft Store. So when you type in store this time, you will find Microsoft Store. And then you can go ahead and try to download the game once again. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can go ahead and run these two commands. These commands are also provided in the video description. So again, open PowerShell. So you can go ahead and type in PowerShell in Windows search box. And then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command over here. And then paste it over here. Hit the enter key. And once this scan is 100% complete, you have to run the second scan. So once this is 100% complete, copy this command over here. Again, paste it on the same window and then hit the enter key. And once this scan is com complete, restart your computer and then try to download the game. The next step is to run this inetcpl.cpl command. So in the search box, go ahead and type in inetcpl.cpl and then click on inetcpl.cpl and go to the advanced tab. And then scroll down over here. You can see use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1 1.3. Make sure all are checked over here. So if any one of them is unchecked, so you have to go ahead and check it. So just make sure that use TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1 all are checked and then click on apply. OK, and then try to use store. Now, in case if nothing is working, you can go ahead and reset Windows 10 or Windows 11. So whichever windows you have for this, go to the start menu. Now, before you perform reset, create a backup for your data because when you uh, when you reset, you might lose all the data on the computer. So create a backup first and then go for reset. For this, go to the start menu. Again, open settings and then click on Windows Update. And you will see the recovery option. When you select Windows Update, you will see the recovery option. So in Windows 11, you will see advanced option. So click on advanced option, then you click on recovery. And then click on reset this PC and then you can go ahead and select the two. Uh, there are two options. One is keep my files, which will remove application and settings, but it will keep your personal file. Remove everything will remove all your personal files, apps and settings. So you can go ahead and select the option which you want. And then you can go ahead and select local reinstall and then just follow the 
on screen instruction to reinstall windows and after the reinstallation you can go ahead and set up your computer and then open store so one of the steps should definitely help you to get the game on your computer so that will be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel